Happy Saturday. I know I started a day late. Yesterday was just so hectic. Um, can I tell you that my living room is in a mess? I'm gonna show you guys, then I'll explain later. <laughs> All right, let me explain what is happening. So, in the week, I decided to pack up the winter stuff. Well, from about two weeks ago, I did kind of put them away in like the closet. But I'm saying, you know what, let me put them in the suitcase. So, I pack up like winter shoes and winter jackets and whatever. So, you know that in the week, I heard that it was snowing in Toronto. I saw video footage of it snowing in Brampton. And the place was rainy and windy and chilly. I mean, said, no, I would But it thinks, say eh? winter on but apparently with canada bipolar weather system it's snowing not here though yesterday it was five degrees feel like one then it moved to seven degrees feel like three i haven't checked the weather but it's windy outside so now it's like i'm contemplating to take out the stuff but god no man i want to take them out so hear what I'm just going to take out a few. I'm going to go back through the suitcases, take out a few long sleeve, Just a few, like a one and two per person. And me literally, I'm going to take out the summer stuff. Because me, me think it's summer No, I think it's summer. I think it's summer. Right, so. Yeah. Um, The plan for today, I have work. Say girl got a new job. I'll tell you guys all about that soon. Um, I'm on a little break currently. Um, and I'm just looking at outside. Outside looks so windy and nice. No man, out here cool and windy though. Guys, may I go back in? Out here cold bottle. I don't know if you can see the trees blowing and stuff. But it's a windy day today. I'm not really enthused with how cold it is. I thought it would have been like, you know, windy at Jamaica, nice and breezy and nice. Nice and breezy and nice. But this cold, let me check the weather. No, I'm take me just nasty. It says 15 degrees, feel like 13. No, I'm take me just nasty. But look here, cold bump. Inside I go. Come, I can't believe 15 degrees is so cold. Inside I go. Because of the breeze. Lesson learned. Do not drink your tea around your laptop. I'm nowhere near my laptop. Um, Today, I want to go to the Asian supermarket or the Chinaman. A Chinaman the name there? Yeah, Asian. Uh, Asian. I want to go to the. I want to go to the Chinese supermarket today. Um, I will be vlogging that, but I want it to be like a whole vlog. You want to put it on my channel or Mac Live? Same same Mac Live. So I hear that. So I'll be going to the Asian supermarket and we will be vlogging. And my husband said it will be on the Macintosh Live. Nothing for us to by Amanders. So be sure to hit subscribe to the Macintosh Live on YouTube. Click the bell, click on all so you can see your experience. For those who don't know, the Asian supermarket is like the old sailor Jamaica. Where you can get things cheap and clean. Right? So you get your... Your whatever you want down there cheap and nice so i i went down there before once i'ma find some stuff that you'd never find like you'd find like dashin and sweet potato and so we'll definitely vlog the whole experience and put it on the macintosh live
old side. Mm -hmm. Old side. Yeah. Oh, they're cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, it is so there. cold. The MacLife tribe is out, out and stunting on the Astro by Amanda channel. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel? Yeah. How do you feel to be featuring on my channel? Like a superstar, you know, my superstar. You know. And then, uh, it was US Pro, you know. What? It was US Pro. <laughs> know what that means. Anyways, yeah, first of all, a free look here. Listen to me. Me no need to pay you. Period. Okay. And me and you know why me no need to pay you. Okay. You don't know why. You don't know why. <laughs> Anyways, see you at Dalaram. You will come here to come jog. Yo. I challenge you on a quick one. For you for jog. Eh? What a good jog. essential items but it's strange you know mm -hmm. we find it strange because these are cooking stuff or making stuff that is deemed non-essential because even here the cooking is on the left it's a non-essential non-essential so if i should put take up this now and go and i'll make it like definitely eat something Because these are smaller width, you notice I could get just one, two, three from each. One, two, three. And then because these are wide off, it adds more volume. So I could get one, two, three, four from each. One, two, three, four. And it's looking really nice. And because it's, you know, it's so close, they can't really see. And I think I think it's pretty. The only thing. I need to just iron it. As I said, I haven't gotten an iron yet. I'm doing pineapple with mango and carrot and ginger juice. Okay, so change of plans. So the the pan is spoiled on the outside part and it was taking its time to come in. So me use what was left from the belly of the pan. So I had bought two panels of this. Why is so dirty? I hope it's the outside dirty, not the inside. I had bought two panels of this, the white um, sheer curtain. It's 54 inch by 84 inch. 
um, as you have seen, I just put a Kali on. Um, so this one is for the living room. I need two more here, but I think here can do without the two more for now because the living room really need about four or six more in total. So, and I bought the gourmet style. It's six pieces of magnetic um, curtain ties. Hold up. So you know like when you have the curtain like this and you really want to tie it together when you, because eventually I'm going to have a lot. So I'm, I need um, about two or I need about two or four more here. I think about four more, like two more here and two more here shares because of how wide the space is. And you know when like in the summer you probably want to draw it back for the day or whatever. Um, these are curtain ties. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, there, guys. <laughs> you see? You need more curtain in it. So eventually, as I said, I'm gonna have more curtains here. So the tie would do really well. But I like it. So the next thing I have in my box is my towel ring. So in the bathroom, um, we have a towel rack, but it's very far from the shower and so i use it as a what do you call it show towels show towel kind of statement piece kind of section so basically the towels that are on that rock we don't use them they're just for show they're just to pretty up the bathroom i decided to get a towel ring so in the meantime we keep on we have to throw a towel over there <laughs> <laughs> Guys, yeah, so the shower, the shower, we put the shower curtain on, but I feel like showed up. Poor Connie, sometimes I feel so sorry for her. She's like throwing her towel over there and it's a mess. Like, so I decided to get a towel ring. Good morning. I'm gonna say good morning. Okay, so it's Monday. It's Monday and it's 3.15 and I am literally just making something to eat to eat. Making something for me to eat. Let me give you a quick rundown. So I went to my bed, call it 2 o'clock this morning. Um, all my assignments that would have passed due to the fact that I didn't have a laptop. Um, I was working on them. I have been working on them. The sticky keys. Don't even get me started with my sticky keys. I'm still working on it. Um, I was told it needed to be repaired. Um, I was given the price as well, but I'm not after Monday. So right now, our prayers are due it. Um, Prayers, perseverance, prayers, perseverance, and determination. Because we're determined, say the laptop need to start working and need to start pressing properly. Is doing it. So I've been doing my schoolwork. Um, I have one um, assignment and two e-learning left. So I've come a far away. My break. I'm tired. Um, just clean up the kitchen. I have the bins to wipe out and stuff. Just wipe out the house. Make a show with the water there. And uh, this is my bag soup. Something quick and easy. I gave Kelly here breakfast. So morning, morning, like about 10 o'clock. I'm just going to eat at 3. Just finished bed as well. Feeling real fresh and nice, but I'm tired. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I just got up 8, 13, 8, 14 p.m. I went to lie down minutes to five. I was doing so much. My body just crashed. My body just said, mm -mm. can't continue. This is it. I'm still feel tired. I don't know if it's because the past few nights I've been up, as I said, I still feel tired. So um, I'm going to try and get something to eat. Um. Schoolwork, but I'm 
Make a break for tonight. Make a break around 3.30 and go sleep. Wake up back 8 o'clock to get clean, prepped and ready for online classes. And like, get her tea brush, face wash, you know, prep herself so that I can give her breakfast and all of that. And then join my class. Of class at 9. Plus more work, more school work after that. After my classes are finished tomorrow, I have more school works. Um, and things that I do. Happy Tuesday. Good morning, good night. Alright, so I know I look like a zombie, but it's not bedtime. Um, I'm gonna be heading to my bed. It's now, Jesus, 4.13. It's now 14, 4.13. Um, so that means I'm gonna get three hours sleep and some minutes, because I'm waking up at eight. Uh, while I'm in class, I'll be working on some assignments. Or try to. If not, I might miss classes and work on my assignment and then play catch up in watching the recordings. I don't know, but <sighs> good night. Um, I don't know if I'll be vlogging for the rest of the day, but you guys should see me either Wednesday or Thursday. Bye. excited but my affair contain my excitement i have to contain my excitement because kali's in school but listen me excited but why is amanda excited why is amanda excited approval approval in jesus name approval my shirt says happy i'm currently happy um my spirits have been lifted about two hours ago I'm very happy. Very, 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 very happy. Approval. Approval made me happy. Approval. She sounded like she said bye, cutie. Or she she said bye, Klee, in a fast way. Or she said bye, cutie. Bye. Bye, Klee. Bye, cutie. Yeah, it more sounds of like with that. Bye, that. cutie. Yeah, that. Bye, cutie. Yeah, that's how she said it when she said it. <laughs> All right. Right. So, as I was saying, approval. Approval, approval. So, this morning or this afternoon in the support group, we are clocking 152 members now, I think. And we got our first approval in the group. Like, we're excited. Like, you know, more of the excitement to create in the group. Is that thing say? Allah, we get it. That's how genuinely happy we are because it's just last week they were debating and they must say, Lord, um, look at them pause, you know, because we we're saying look at them pause on the Jamaicans and because other persons were getting approval in other different countries and stuff like that. I may tell you, it came through and we just feel happy like. I was actually down. I me, me just did in a one little rut with all of this schoolwork, and just to hear that, it really lifts my spirits. Like my spirit has been lifted. I'm just happy. So yeah. Approval. <laughs> so you remember this guys that I bought on Amazon? Yep. So this is how it looks really lovely you see that it gives it a nice tie so I tie both and then it gives a little balance balance <laughs> yeah so i'll be doing my schoolwork right by the window you know 
I can look out and do my school work and yeah. So if it was to I think I can see back from me. But um until Thursday. So until then here your wash and it's like no wash. Until then guys. Alright guys, so this concludes the end of this week. I'm out on the road. I went to do some errands. I went to get some Lysol and um, stuff for the bathroom and clear. And I did some errands as well. So I didn't really get to film much this week because we're well, struggle, you know, we struggle with the bag. So I'm heading home right now. Gonna edit a few videos, cook, and sleep early. I have assignments to do, but I'm tired. I am tired. Can you look at that big trailer? Wow, that is big. Yep. Anyways, guys, see you next week. Bye. Okay, so this was supposed to be filmed in the week of last week so you're seeing it with last week's stuff so i did not get to post the weekly vlog so this vlog would happen well the entire weekly vlog that you're seeing now happened last week in your case two weeks ago um so I will be adding this one to that one. On Victoria Day, I ordered some stuff from H&M for my daughter, Colleen, for summer. Reason being, guys, you know, summer is almost now, and when I know, like, I don't know if I see my daughter lately, like, she get tall. I would prefer if she would have grown like this way, but she's going this way, very tall. So that means, the blows they look young, the dress them look like blows, the long tights look like tights we can wear under our dress. So I bought some clothes from H&M for her. Um, funny story, so I was supposed to get this in, the, in this vlog that happened last week. Turns out the delivery guy said he delivered it at my apartment. No, he didn't. Him delivered my package to somebody else's house and me and dig down the place. The people in the apartment are on them camera. They've never seen a delivery guy call my or whatever. It's a huge mess. Them call Canada Post, them turn on investigation, can't locate the package. There now yesterday, my phone rang. Somebody's outside to see me. Went out there. Lo and behold, the lady with the package will be named Panita Majes and everything. She said got, she got the package from last week Friday. Um, she wasn't home, but her daughter was home and her daughter collected the package. Her daughter is like the age group. And she came with her mom to drop it off. And she said they dropped it off at her house. And she had it from Friday, so she waited until yesterday, which was Tuesday, to carry it home. I mean, so the bit of news on social media time. Because you want to hear me and H&M, I'm missing, I need to get my money. And H&M is like, no, you have to wait until two weeks. It's a two weeks policy. I must have all right then, boom. I was so happy when the lady brought me yesterday. I remember what I ordered. I know I ordered a couple yard dresses because she in the yard, guys. I saw like a shot up something so. That's why I don't really see her in the videos. And I said, listen, you can't wear the videos looking like that. I'm that type of mom. Alright, so I ordered an 8 to 10 year old clothes. They're yeah, not a bad. Not a bad. So I saw these little dresses. Oh, this is not a dress, this is a top. So, I don't know, so this is a bigger than my child, right? <laughs> and it's off white. It's not white, it's off white. So, you know, this can be worn with any jeans bottom. Because she has a couple jeans. Even that, guys, I may have to change that soon. Her jeans fits, but they're short, so she has to be coffee in the at the cards. Jeans expensive. Let's see what else we have in the bag. I'm just taking from the top. I'm going along. Eight to ten year old. 
What do you think the size? All right. Like my mother always said, because she buy our clothes bigger than we know. If you want to fit in your clothes, it's easy. My mother ain't easy, you know. All right, so this one is a dress, a yard dress. See? Unicorn. She loves unicorns, so she's going to love this. Say, you know what she have on this? Let's say I need to take her run to Walmart or whatever. She can put on this. Or if she did already have it on in here, just put on your super and comb. I'm just saying. All right, so the next item we have in here is when babe feel this and babe say, so what you say by a good amount of clothes for her and this back package so small. Mr. Mama and Pippi, and then clothes will fold up small. What is small? I don't remember the stuff that I ordered. This was an eight to 10 year old as well. It says, bye bye winter. Spring winds. I love this. This cute bag. It says springtime spirit. Let me hold it up. And you know, I'm a thrift store person. And to be honest, Kelly's school clothes are from the thrift store and they look really good. The only reason why I never bought any summer stuff from the thrift store is because we've been in a lot long. And these were purchased on Victoria Day and whenever I hear my gunfire if they're gonna come out or not. If the store them are gonna open up or not. So now we hear that the store is gonna be open as at today when you see this. Yes, so when you see this today, Friday, the stores in London, Ontario, or in Ontario have been open but to 50% capacity inside. So um you know, they're not gonna work out for them mats with them diameter and them ear and them circumference and find a 15% capacity. So if it's 20 no more, the store can hold at 20 no more and the line have to be outside, social distance lines. Me prefer that. Me prefer like not because it don't essential to you, means it don't essential to me. Me prefer that. Me will stop with a line and complain, but me stop. So this is the next eight to ten year old dress again. It's a 10 year old looks small though. When you just see the first one, what did it look like? It's wrongfully tagged. Or maybe it's the style. Maybe when you put it on, it flows nicely. But I like this. I like the cheetah print, and I'm sure she's gonna love this. Because she loves cheetah prints. Nice little dress. Hey, yeah, mama likes to grow up in her dress and her ear properly groomed and. You know, look nice. Me from the belief that I supposed to look like nothing, but your kids, like as mothers, I'm gonna talk to as mothers. As mothers, I personally feel like we should not focus on us looking good while our kids are looking like trash. I feel like your kids then supposed, because they are a representation of you, the mother, and not really the father, you know, you, the mother. When you see one little girl, you said, Lord, and I remember that put a comb my hair. I said, I'm going to You get what I'm saying? So I firmly believe that our kids should be properly groomed. And it also teaches them to that when they grow up and bring up themselves a certain way. You understand? This, ooh. This top is cute. I personally love the sleeves. As I said, you're going to see a lot of kiddie stuff. Kids, for dress like kids. I don't want to see, yeah, this, this rough or something. Me like it. Unicorn again. Cute. Love it. An next 8 to 10 year old dress. Why it look like for the 8 to 10 year old different from mine. The first 8 to 10 year old look like we know that can definitely fit. But they may look like they're gonna be 90. Maybe not to you know because maybe because I'm watching the waistline from here to here. But she's a tall girl, you know? So her waist kind of longer than this. So maybe it's the style of the dress. Maybe this for the probably appears and then it flows come down. Mm -hmm. I'm just open the look young. The next item on the list is a, uh, this one is eight to nine year old. I believe this was a romper. Yes, it was. Oh, that's pretty bad. This is pretty. So this is an eight to nine year old. I stand corrected. Her dad wasn't for me getting her romper, and I said, Don't worry, I'm gonna get her something that looks childlike. Like, 
you have rompers where they look like big people but this i was sold with the little frill frill as i tell you i like the little frill frill the ruffles and look at this you see and it's stretch and it have a lot of plus a summer and the whole winter them come up but you put on this travel go white sneakers shown up and down she good to go or a little gold slippers or a little whatever slippers she good to go so this is what it looks like